So guys, one of the best things about camper life is definitely stopping for coffee and breakfast at a place like this. Yes, hello guys. I just finished uh, editing a video I did about this uh, camping trip uh, me and my cousin Andre did together. We uh, drove from um, Reykjavik, that is here, and we drove all the way up this area here and up to uh, Patricksfjörður. We were basically here, and uh, this is where um, the first scenes are shot at this beautiful uh, lake called Sauðlaugsdalsvatn. When we woke up the next morning, the weather was really bad, so we had planned to stay there for a couple of nights, but uh, the weather was so bad, we decided to drive back. And um, we went here to uh, Skagaheide in the north. There we caught a fish and uh, a couple of small ones, or a few small ones. Uh, then we decided to uh, drive a little bit further here up to uh, or to Svartau. Um, it is approximately here. And uh, that's where the video finishes. So this is a pretty long drive. But um, that is the beauty of renting a camper van. You can basically just decide where you want to go based on weather and other things. Now I'm located outside of Go Car Rental. Go Campers. Uh, Right here where I'm parked you can see a couple of options, two, three options. This is like a four by four option here, room for two I guess. We're gonna be uh, taking one of these, me and my cousin Andre. We're not gonna be doing any off-roading, so uh, this one made sense. Most room, most space in that one, so that's the one we chose. But like I say, if you want to go and go up to the highlands or fish somewhere else. I would definitely take one of these bad boys. So this is Benedict, one of the owners of Go Car Rental or Go Campers, and he's gonna show us around the car a little bit. So what are we working with? Okay, here we have the most essential, the heater for oh. the night time. Okay. That's, That's easy to turn on and, and it keeps you warm all, uh, throughout the night. Okay. And uh, then we have a cooling box. Okay. Here. This has plenty of room, and uh, and then uh, the sink here with running water. Nice. And there's a, a water canister here that you just pull out, uh, unplug it, and, and fill it up with fresh water okay. when you need. And then there's pot and pan, gas stove, portable gas stove, just simple. So you basically have everything you need for cooking and cleaning and and. Yeah. Cooling stuff. Awesome. Then in the nighttime, this converts into a bed. Okay. Uh, using these to put it in the middle here, shake the uh, table down and put some rods in here, and then the, uh, it goes into a bed. And then you have in this one you have two beds, one on top and one in the, in the bottom. So this car sleeps what five? Five in total. Okay. Uh, at the maximum. Okay. Really comfortable for two or three. Yeah. Or four. Nice. Uh, and then there's space for luggage underneath the seats and in the back mm -hmm. underneath as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. And the uh, two packs. Oh. Four then by four camper. Nice. It's um. Ultimate fishing. This might be the ultimate fishing vehicle. You're right. So uh, it has two seats, but yeah, I can see it modified for sleeping in the back. Yeah, okay. Nice. This is a great solution as well. Uh, can't wait to get uh, the journey started and uh, I'll see you on the road. Okay guys, so uh, we just started uh, the journey to the west part of Iceland, or the West Fjord, where we will be spending the next few days. Um, shortly you can see Reykjavik city across the bay, it's a beautiful day, the sun is out, Reykjavik is over there. So yeah, we will probably show you a little bit more on the way to our destination. So uh, let's keep it rocking.
Okay guys, as you can see we're driving through this beautiful countryside here. We're getting closer to the West Fjords where we'll, we will be spending uh, the next few days. From the looks of it, the weather con uh, forecast says the best weather is going to be today and um, tonight. So me and Andre, we're going to do our best to uh, catch some fish and videotape tonight. Uh, there is something really unique about fishing or doing activities in the midnight sun in June. The time is now 10 o'clock at night and as you can see everything is fully lit up or the sun is shining like it's uh, just daytime. Once again, when, um, when you're out doing activities in the midnight sun, you feel it that, you know, you kind of feel it on your skin that everything is asleep, everything is silent. It's a special feeling and I'm super excited about um, doing some fishing later today, or later tonight actually. Yep, guys, we arrived here at the lake that we're gonna be fishing. Söðu Lauk Stalsvatn. Really easy to pronounce. We are just slowly getting our gear together. It is uh, almost 12 o'clock at midnight. And as you can see, it's basically just daylight still outside. So we're just gonna set up slowly, take it easy, we have all night. It doesn't get dark at this time of the year, so... Yeah, we're about to do this. First try with a new setup. It's basically my dream setup. It's the Einars Unreal, made here in Iceland, and uh, a Sage X 5 weight, 9 feet. Andre is over there, my cousin, but I am going to uh, try just right here, see what happens. It's pretty unique that uh, you're fishing in uh, yellow sand on a freshwater lake here in Iceland. Yellow sand isn't found in that many places, it's mostly black sand. This is awesome. It's the middle of the night once again, it's around 12.30, so almost one o'clock at night. The rod feels really good. Yeah, guys, so um, I got one bite earlier, or one take, but it didn't hook, so um, gave it a few more tries, but Andre, my cousin, he's here, I moved where he is to where he is, and we're gonna try here. He called me, there was a fish who took his fly, and he broke off uh, the five pound liter, we're, we were using pretty thin liters going for the chart. But there are big brown trout in this lake. We've uh, seen and heard stories of up to 16 pound trout. So uh, I'm changing into a more flashy streamer with much thicker leader and let's see how that goes. Pretty windy.
birds who were trying to uh, get me here. You saw the, the Arctic turn. These birds uh, migrate the furthest of all birds in the world, all the way from Antarctica to Iceland and even further. Pretty aggressive. Sometimes shit on you as well. <laughs> so Andre, we're we're preparing a little grub or midnight snack, you could say. I think it's almost two o'clock in the morning. Smoked arctic char that you caught yourself, right? Mm -hmm. And I smoked it. You smoked it as well? Mm -hmm. It's so good. So guys, Andre is out there, he's fishing, I'm taking a little break, it's 3 o'clock at night now, it's so beautiful, we have uh, set up the bat, taking away the table, so uh, now this can easily sleep too up to five people a little river that uh, flows into the lake and from the lake is another little river that flows into the ocean that is very close by there's a church and a cemetery up there it is four o'clock now in the morning it's beautiful Good morning ladies and gentlemen, so uh, yesterday we went to sleep about, I don't know, four or five after, you know, we went, came into the car and went straight to sleep. Uh, the weather was pretty nice yesterday, especially compared to today. I don't know if you can see, but it is super windy, it's pretty cold and rainy. We don't really want to leave because the lake and the surroundings here are super um, nice. So we're going to see if it slows down a little, the rain and the wind. If not, having a camper like this and the fishing cart, we have definitely other options to choose from. So we're going to see how it goes. You will of course be informed. Okay guys, so um, we decided to uh, move from the beautiful area we were at because of weather. It's super windy and cold basically and rainy, so uh, as bad as it gets at this time of the year. So uh, we're gonna head further north. We're gonna be driving for about four or five hours or so. The weather should be much better. A um, lot warmer and, and no rain. Um, I've fished this lake, we are thinking about going to many years ago and it has really big brown trout, super aggressive and, and strong fish. I've been uh, wanting to go there for a long time, but um, I think this is going to be the time we do it. We will uh, keep you posted.
So guys, one of the best things about camper life is definitely stopping for coffee and breakfast at a place like this. Look at the views, we just pulled off the road here and this is our view. Okay guys, so uh, we've been fishing lakes for the last couple of days, but uh, now we're gonna try to fish uh, a river called Svarto. We managed to get a license with a short notice, it's not far away from where we are. Uh, I have to say I'm super excited, I fished the river once uh, a few years ago and managed to hook a couple of good brown trout, so uh, super excited. The journey continues in the camper van. This is uh, most definitely the best way to uh, explore Iceland and fish, rent a camper van like this and, and just drive wherever you'd like and, and I will help you set, uh, set up the perfect plan if you uh, just send me an email. to mention um, if you're traveling from beat to beat in one day a top bunker is the perfect setup for a, for a rod holder small tip Totally recommend this type of uh, traveling and fishing. It is unbelievably nice to uh, be able just to sit down in a camper van like this on the bank of a river in the middle of the nature, relaxing, having some snack or whatever, enjoying the nature. It's been amazing so far on this trip, even though the fishing hasn't been great. We caught one nice one, or I did. Last night, this river we're fishing is kind of over flooded, you could say. It's not its normal size or the water level, it's not its normal level. But um, it's a beautiful day, nevertheless. And when life is good. Uh, Hi. I am. I am. Eastern. Já, allir Íslendingar hér. Það er bara út í með það sem var kalt. Ég er bara eitthvað hérna að taka upp á vídeo þegar að frændi minn er að veiða. Eru þegar að fara að veiða síli? Það er eitthvað að það er ekki við okkur til. Já. Við erum að fara að veiða með það síli og eitthvað. Já, já, já. Hei, strættu. Við erum að fara að veiða í ferð. Ég er með hvernig það. Það er við að hafa það. Það er svo leiðis. Já, 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 já. Við erum bara við, eitthvað. Já, já. Herðu, eigið þið góðan dag. Hei.